There's more than one way to print a full color logo on a t-shirt, but only one way that feels low quantity customization across the widest variety of garment colors and fabric types in basic and special effect finishes. This way is print cut. I'm John Lobs with Stalls TV and in this video I'll show you how to produce a range of high quality digitally printed t-shirts with the CAD color print cut process from Stalls. Stalls manufactures a lot of different types of materials for the print cut process. There's opaque material for dark t-shirts. There's clear materials for lights and whites. There's a few other materials we're going to show you a little bit later, but let's start with the dark material or the opaque material for the dark t-shirts. So I load the material on the back of the machine, line up my pinch rollers, and lock it down. Send my print. It's going to print the graphic. Now a blade will come out and cut the graphic. When it's finished, will she cut it off? Now I'm going to switch out and use the material for lights and whites, my clear product. I'll load it in the back of the machine. Adjust my pinch rollers. And send my graphic to print. The blade's going to come out and cut around the graphic. Notice the graphic is in a mirror image for clear because it is already on its carrier. We're going to sheet cut it and move to the weeding process. The product weeds really nice. We'll get rid of our waste material. This right here is our mask. We'll need to lift the graphic off of the backer so that we can apply it as the adhesive is on the back side. We'll pull our mask off, apply it to our graphic, we're pressing out any of the air bubbles and getting our graphic to stick to the carrier sheet. Remove it from the backer. The backer is now waste, and I'll place it back on the carrier for my masking process. Now notice how easy it is to come off here. That makes it a little bit easier in the application to the t-shirt. Cut my graphic apart. Next we're going to work on our clear material for our lights and white garments. Notice again that it is in a mirror image because it is already on its carrier and it does not need to be masked. We'll go ahead and weed away the negative space. We'll cut ahead and cut our graphic apart. and we're ready to move to the application process. All right, we're gonna go ahead and load our dark shirt. Line it up, place our cover sheet, and do a quick preheat to get the moisture and wrinkles out. We have our graphic on our opaque material. We'll peel it apart. Figure out our application location. Line it up. Place our cover sheet. 
and apply. This product is a warm to hot peel, so we'll go ahead and peel it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a second quick hit. And our finished graphic. So we're now going to apply the clear product for lights and whites. Um, I have a ladies tee here that won't fit over or thread onto this platen. So I'm going to go ahead and change my platen. Fortunately, I have a heat press here that allows for interchangeable platens. Lock it in. And thread my tee. Line it up. Place my cover sheet so I can give it a quick preheat and adjust my pressure. Now I'm going to apply my lights and whites clear transfer. Now again, we're on our carrier, so we printed it in reverse. So we'll lay it down, measure it out, put our cover sheet, and apply. This product is a cool pill product. So we're going to give it a second to cool down a little bit before we peel it off. And we'll go ahead and peel our carrier. This product requires a second, five second heat application. And we have our finished product. So as I talked about in the beginning of the video, we're going to go ahead and print on some special effects material. I have silver glitter in the printer, I have gold metallic in my hand, but don't forget to check out the rest of the lineup of special effects media that we have to offer. I'm going to go ahead and send my graphic now. Now we've loaded our gold metallic to start the printing process. Now we're going to go ahead and weed out all the negative space, apply our mask over the top of it, and then we'll be ready for the heat press. Applying the mask. and trim our logo up. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and move on to our uh, gold metallic. Same process. Remove or weed out our negative space. Mask it with our mask and move to the heat press.
First we're going to apply our printed silver glitter. And for a little added bonus, we are going to heat press it to a performance fabric. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now this is known as a flexible application pad. Um, this is used on performance wear to stop from getting the heat press square that's common on this type of material. We're going to go ahead and set it on here first. Now keep in mind, because this is very thick, you might need to alter the application instructions just a bit. So do a quick preheat. Line up and place our graphic. Place our flexible application pad. And apply. We have our graphic. We're going to go ahead and do our final graphic. And again, we're going to apply it to a performance fabric. So let's go ahead and thread the garment. Line it up. Again, performance wear, so we're using our flexible application pad. Give it a preheat. Line up our graphic. Cover with our flexible application pad and apply. This application requires one more five second hit. And we're finished. As you can see with Stahl's lineup of CAD color materials, you can do those full color graphics in low quantities and keep generating revenue for your business. I'm John Logs with Stahl's TV. Thanks for watching.